Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last few videos, we learn stack navigation in React Native with TypeScript. On those videos, I create this application in which we navigate from home screen to screen 1 and from screen 1 to screen 2. And from screen 2, we go back to this. All the functions available in stack navigations, we understand and learn about those. Now, in this video, I am going to explain how you can use tab navigation in React Native with TypeScript. For that, I created here a folder bottom tab navigation. Under this folder, I create three screens home screen, screen 1, screen 2, and I will create the center component to configure tab navigation on that so first of all i create here the home so i say home dot tsx then under this home bottom i create one more i say screen screen one dot tsx i create one more i say screen two screen two dot tsx so three screens i have means the three activity i have now i take the center screen so i say tab screens so that is i will use to configure all the screens under this so three screens I have and one the component for centralizing all these activity for a tab navigation now in home I create this component so I say rn fes and here under this I create one CSS property I say container under this container uh, I set flex to one and I say justify to center and I say alignment items to the center like this I save this and here I pass the style I say style equal to styles dot container and here in heading I say style equal to styles dot heading and I give some property for this heading also so I say heading and here I pass font size to increase the size of this I say font size is 30 I say font weight to bold and I say color of this should be I can say brown brown color like this way save this so uh, uh, I assign this similar to this I do all screen 1 and screen 2 so for doing it fast what I do just I do formatting and I copy uh, I copy hall like this and I paste here and I change the name to screen 1 because the name of this component is screen 1 and I type here screen 1 also and here I type screen 1 just for remembering purpose and here in screen 2 again I say copy paste and I give here screen 2 and I also give the name screen 2 here also I give the name screen 2 like this way save this so home screen is ready I can say it is home screen so home screen is ready then screen 1 is ready screen 2 is ready now it's time to design the central screen so I say rnfes again and here I don't need these styles but first of all I need to install so I close this application and uh, I close this one also now I go to the website under this website I have to install this so I copy this and I need to install the this one the bottom tab navigation library then after that I need to copy these two so I copy these two like we use in st stack navigation so I just uh, paste here and remember that I need to remove this because no need of this right now and I need to remove this also no need of a styles here right now now tab is created so I remove this and here I say tab dot navigator centralize I need navigator under this I need tab dot screen remember I have to give name of the screen here that would be home and here is the component of this that would be also home so I import all the screens which I created just right now I say home so same directory I have in the home directory I say home then I import other also those are screen 1 in the same current directory and 
I import one more screen that is the screen 2. Screen 2 is also in the same directory. So I save this. Now under this I need to create a copy of this. Now I say uh, second one is a screen 1. So I say screen 1. Same I pass here object of this. Then I say screen 2 screen 2 and same name I pass here screen 2. I save this. So these are ready I think. Now I need to in the app component I need to assign this tab screen like this way and I need to remove this no need of all screen that is used in stack navigation save this now I can start this application again so I am restarting the application now this application will replace with the tab navigation you see we are on home screen then we are on screen 1 then I click on screen 2 so screen 1 screen 2 and home screen so we can remove these header also if we want top of the screen we are having a header so we can disable these header also and we can also assign the first screen here we can say initial screen so that is we say initial roots name so I say home is my initial screen I can assign this now after this what I have to assign you can say this home and this screen screen 2 they are looking so small so we can increase the size of this and we can design some color we can assign some color also for that so here I say screen options here under this screen options I say uh, tab bar tab bar action active tint color active tint color means when tab is active so I say red color and uh, if it is inactive so I say tab bar inactive tint color if you are not using this so I say that is green so I just save this <coughs> you see it is red and all other are green means active one is red all other are green now I can also assign background so I say tab bar active background color so background color I can say if it is active under the red I can say yellow is my active color and if tab bar inactive background color so I take this one and here I say inactive we can say red is the inactive color you see that active is what yellow and the color is not matching because uh, it's a uh, green color so I can say the color is yellow inactive color is yellow so you see inactive color is yellow right now and active color is you see background color is yellow and color text color is red here background color is red but a text color is yellow so we can increase the size of this for that what I do I, I say tab bar label style under this label style I say uh, font size the font size is I say 30 save this you see home screen size we have increased size so much so I say it is 20 save this you see we have home screen 1 screen 2 I can say 15 so I can increase the size of this also like this way you see now in place of screen 1 screen 2 we can also assign here screen only one screen 2 and uh, for that what I do I need to assign here I say option and under this option here I say tab bar I say label tab bar label and here I assign the tab bar value I say screen 1 save this you see a screen one is coming similarly we can assign uh, I just copy this and I can paste to screen 2 also and here I can say screen 2 so we can customize it like that so we have a screen 1 and a screen 2 so by default it take name from here but we can change also name if we assign here label we can disable this header on top of this if we want to disable for that we say header header shown here and I say here uh, false save this you see header is gone now to complete skin we are using you see like this way so you can disable header also or you can disable individual header also you can use here if you don't want to disable all so you can disable from here same property you can use in under the option and one by one you can disable enable the header which you want so like this way we can customize this but one problem is there because we are using a uh, type script so sometime it may give error here about these activities so for that we can assign the type of this also so I say uh, 
here that uh, I say type I say screen type and I give here that I say a home screen is there that is undefined we are not passing any value in this if there is a screen one so it is also undefined I am not passing any value to this if it is screen 2 it is also undefined we are not passing any parameter any property to this so I do this and same I can pass here in this I say screen type so why I am passing this because it's a type script so if we assign some property with these components this is activity or screens then it will generate error if you want to pass some parameter here I'll, as I did in the stack navigation also I assign here the parameters or property that we want to send so here I am not passing any property or anything with this screen because we are using these screens as a tab we are not navigating from one screen to another screen right now by using tab navigation we do all these things in a stack navigation I will show you how you can combine drawer and stack navigation and bottom tab navigation all together in a single application that we called nested navigation so I will give you a demo of nested navigation also on that time but time being here we have to define the screen type of these screens remember that if you are using JavaScript no need to define these types but we are using TypeScript and right now we are using 0.71 version that is not 100% strict for TypeScript it giving uh, it's uh, <coughs> allowing to use JavaScript concept also under the TSX component but maybe in future version it will generate some error so try to uh, uh, try to use this type of concept also so we have to assign here the screen type means the what parameter we are passing and under these screens we are not passing any parameter as a property right now that's why we are just cleanly we are using this but if we want to pass some information from this screen to this screen means from home screen I want to pass some value to screen 1 so I can do that but we have to specify type here I will explain this in national navigation video on that time so right now we understand here that how we can install a tab bottom tab navigation and uh, how we can assign we, how we can customize by setting the background of this how we can change the color of these tab and how we can navigate from one screen to another screen that we have learned here in this video and uh, one thing is remaining in this video the icon we have to set some icon also here but those icons are not coming here by default so how to install these icon how we uh, customize the react navigation CLI main activity file also and how to install the icon that we are going to learn in the next video we will use react native vector icon library for assigning an icon here so that we will do in next video to understand how we can assign or give the icon to these tabs meanwhile thank you for watching this video if you learn something please do subscribe thank you for watching this video